welcome to this episode of Bruisers. This is episode number 14. Today I'm joined with Kyle Rader from Upland Brewing out in Bloomington, Indiana. This episode is brought to you by Rizzo Insurance. Kyle, thanks for joining us today. Appreciate it. My pleasure, it. man. I've been looking forward to this one yeah. for a while now. Yeah. Have a big end of the week. Let's, uh, let's pop this, uh, this gold medal winning to its hearts. Uh, 2014. Uh, no, we'll we'll start here because oh, this, this is okay. this is going to be so much easier to digest. This is uh, fresh from the brewery. I picked it up today. Uh, passion fruit, mango, a little sea salt, a touch of coriander. It is a, a true gosa. Um, and this is what uh, took gold at the uh, Great American Beer Fest last year. Cheers! Cheers! Congratulations! All the success. Thank you. It's just so easy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't share that with anyone. <laughs> I hope we got some more in there. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I got um, one more can. So I'm trying to trying to describe what I'm tasting here. I mean, the passion fruit is it's, such a yeah, unique. Yeah, right in the face. Oh right yeah, away. big time. It's almost like super tropical grapefruit. Uh, the mango gives a little bit of creaminess, and then you have just that hint of salt in the finish. Coriander, I don't usually hardly mention it because it's it's not it's really in existence. But... Yeah. And I don't think it's it's there to make it a ghost. That's that's part of the requirements, but it's so crushable. Yeah, this is dangerous. What's the uh, eight, 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 four and a half? So it's it's your it's your patio pounder. Yeah, it's your next level. I tell people that it drinks like a really tropical soda. <laughs> so uh, I was looking for a way to describe it, and that's that's pretty much it right there. Yeah. Um, and we try and stay as local as possible. And to get as local as possible, we don't always have fun things to play with. So we've, for something like this, we've obviously widened our circle a little bit, but you don't expect... Oh yeah, do it, man. Do it. I'm going to have that. I'm going to have plenty of this for the summer, so thank you. Uh, for a, a brewery that is so rooted in this Midwestern culture, it's, I think, shocking for people outside of the Midwest to have our stuff and go, what the hell is the Midwest doing with this? Like, what is this? I, I'm all that more proud to be here. In yeah, man. Now. Yeah. 